I'm Jessica Michelle Singleton. And I'm Steph Tolev. We're, we're sloths. Oh, man, we're so good. We really are disgusting people. This should be not allowed. Okay. And welcome to Slobs. Oh my. Okay, they gave up. Uh, you guys can't even see on camera what we're talking yeah. about. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> we're back and better than ever. Susan's still a nuisance. Um, yes. We have an incredible guest. <laughs> Madison Sinclair is joining us. Hi, how are you? Hey, it's Hi, good to be here. <laughs> Thanks uh, for coming. Yeah. yeah, of course. Thanks for having me at this beautiful... Beautiful set, our fucking trailer. <laughs> our yes. humble abode. I feel like I'm back in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it's, what we're going for. A good, yeah. like Florida, it's a good Florida vibe, right? Yard vibe. Yeah, yeah it is. Someone last night said they uh, they didn't believe I was from Toronto. I was from Chicago, and I'm like, I've never gotten that. I usually get. I, I wonder, always get an e- like a New like York Jersey vibe. I always get people say Jersey. I get a lot yeah. of people saying I'm East Coast, but that is I'm like, what the fuck do they mean by Chicago? Because I see Florida on you. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that means. But I <laughs> you know it. exactly what that means. You what? mean uh, I'm fun, yeah, and I'm beautiful. That's and I've exactly been in the what I'm sun Too much. I have spots. Yeah. Um, oh, we today. I don't know. Oh, uh, I today got some disport. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get filler next time. I want to do the new Daxify. Have you heard that? What's this? Is yeah. that the disport that lasts longer? It lasts a year. <gasps> That's it, what that your yeah. doctor was saying that they're coming out with a new one that lasts longer. A year. Yeah. It was a year. Because I've been doing it for preventative, but now it's just like, I I guess I, I do every like, I, it's probably all worn off now, but I want to like do, it, it works within like, I think four days. Oh. And then it w- just like holds. Because usually that weird two week process where you're just like out doing something and your face is like immediately frozen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because this, I yeah. got today, I got a lot. I got a lot of units. Oh, I went to town with units me. today. I got all here, uh, both eyes and the, my 11s because they're out of fucking control right now. And how long does it take for them to show up? Like the, a week. Like the disport? About Good a week, to know yeah. for the future mm-hmm. in case I ever do it. <laughs> yeah. I, but I also, yeah. I, uh, do you have filler? Uh, in my lips, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. uh, I'm going to do a bit, I'm doing cheek filler. The lady said something. She acted like I was lying to her last time I went. Because I went in to go get like Botox and filler and everything. Yeah. And she was like, well, what we really need to talk about is your lips. <laughs> I was like, what? And then she compared me to Mr. Potato Head. She's like, you know, Mr. Potato Head. Oh no. my god. <laughs> She's like, this is a large lip and this is a medium lip. And it feels like we just put two. I'm like, you could have said that without mentioning Mr. Mr. Potato, potato yeah, what the fuck? You, But your lips look also, normal. I would never know you had in your lips. Fuck you. I feel like they don't look crazy. She wanted me to do a chin filler and it was like going to be like. No. And I was like, what? I just wanted to get like. Two hundred dollars of preventative, like here. So that, yeah, I don't know. No, but so your lips are great. I want now. I want amazing, but like that's Mister Potato. That's a horrific <laughs> comparison. Well, today she yeah. even said to me, she's like looking through herself. She's like, oh yeah, you, you, yeah. Yeah, you. when she sat down, she's like, yeah, you haven't been here in like a year. I'm like, all like, right, <laughs> that's why I'm here. Drill me up. I had one lady tell me I have a resting sad face. <laughs> and she wanted to put filler. She ended up doing it. She put filler <laughs> under the either side of my lip. Like to, to make it up? To like yeah. smile you more? So I can seem happier. You should <laughs> smile more. <laughs> oh, well, this, the, that nurse, Marissa, she's great. Yes. Uh, she said to me, she's like, oh yeah, you, uh, you frown. She looked at me, <laughs> just looked at the 11s and she's like, you're a frowner. And I was like, I always thought of myself as sort of a happy person. That's new you're info. You're a piece of sad shit. Well, here's some new info. So I, I, here's the thing. We, <laughs> we on slobs like to be slobs as my dog puts her soiled ear on the mic cord. I'm going through breakup, single now. Oh, and no. let me just get this out there. Here's how you cure being sad. You have sex with a very hot pilot. And let me tell you right it's now. pilot season. <laughs> it is pilot season. And guess what? I didn't use a condom. So talk about slobs. Oh, yeah. The I raw dogged it, baby. Oh, oh I well-traveled God. penis. Oh, this cock Ooh. has been around the block. And guess what? I've never cared less in my entire oh, life. You I, are I literally have said to him, fees. Oh, yeah, I literally <laughs> said to him, as long as it's not AIDS, I'm okay. <laughs> the how psycho that to say to him, but I was like, yeah, I'll take chlamydia. It was that good, I'll take chlamydia for I it. I feel like I'm the other way around. I would rather have AIDS than herpes. Really? Because it's like livable now. Yeah, you but herpes, so herpes, you only get one outbreak. Oh, really? Yeah, that's some it. Some people, they, if you're chronically stressed, I heard that yeah. like it varies from birth. Some people can carry the virus and never have an outbreak. And then some people, I had a few sisters in college who, okay. who had it. And um, I used to do a joke that I recently found while scrubbing looking for fucking god-awful clips where I'd be like, I know all my friends have herpes because I'm the friend they come to. <laughs> when they yeah. find out they have herpes and they go, I, I have herpes. And I'll go, that's sad. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> but 
it's but like yeah you could never have an outbreak but also you could have them all the time i think i don't know i just don't want to have a conversation with someone beforehand yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. I, I don't think you have to with herpes i thought you had to with hiv don't Legal, you have to I legally say. yeah yeah legally you have to have the aids conversation <laughs> I, I thought you have to legally I don't think legally you have to say you have herpes. I think yeah. ethically you should. Because Usher got sued for that. Remember? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, for giving someone it. I'd get herpes from Usher's for sure. <laughs> yeah. He's hot. Are you kidding me? When you feel it in your body. And I, you and if, I, if, I, if I fuck someone, I was like, guess what? I got Usher's herpes. They'd be like, oh, I want Usher's herpes. Yeah. I feel like... A yeah, shirt is a cool strain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool strain. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, the yeah. coolest. <laughs> yeah, I wish I remembered his songs. Um, uh, but here's the thing: I fucked the pilot years ago. We've been in contact like every now and then, and he it's a very he good. In. He's very hot. He's so out of my fucking league that it's stupid. Like he's so hot, I don't think my friends would believe I was fucking the him. Your, is someone out of your league if you fuck them? Aren't they automatically? It's like I guess you're not out of my league. I don't think men are out of any women's league. No, that's <laughs> the thing. I just don't think that's true. <laughs> well, I say that all the time because, yeah. like, the amount of friends that I will have go through things that are like, I like, I just haven't fucked in a while, and it's like, do you go outside? Like, men, you could fuck the hottest guy. I think it's something we put in our head. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. men are just like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely did that, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> he did exactly. And I that. didn't realize that I I had a thing for pilots. I mean, so, it's kind of a hot. I love a man in like a specific uniform. Oh, yeah. So I pulled up to the hotel and he was still in the pilot outfit. And I was like, don't take it off. <laughs> but That's hot. thinking of opposite, yeah, I was so gross. So thinking of opposite slob, though, he, big shout out to him, flew the plane six hours, didn't go, didn't shower. We would Whoa, wait for him. Stinky cockpit cock. <laughs> Negative smell. Scentless, and you really? know this honker sniffing. Oh, you smell everything. I, I would have smelled from a mile away. I, I literally was like, I was like, oh, he's like is it okay? I'm like, yeah, no. I was sniffing around to see if there was a scent. Zero scent. I don't want to say it. The AIDS killed the smell. That <laughs> knocks it right out. Guess what? Then I'm gonna start. You just have COVID. You're like, yeah. doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's scentless. I couldn't believe it. Se- his whole body. Not scentless. even like a little bit of that. You know that skin smell. It not like, nothing. It's not bad, but it's just like it's skin. No, no smell. His breath was perfect. Nothing. It was unreal. And if he gives you AIDS, I feel like he would give you free flights. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. At least I'm going to be. <laughs> you get a perk yeah. out He of doesn't it. have AIDS. I got I to gotta, I gotta say this. The man does not. It's um, HIV. It's uh, HIV. He does not have either. <laughs> what airline? You never mind. You I'm not going to say the okay. airline. I'm not going to uh, go crazy here. But I'm just saying I, I feel a lot better. Nice. He had no skin tags. We love that. That's, yeah. My ex had a giant skin tag that made me physically Near ill. I would eat it. I would bite it. it <laughs> you, uh, if you ate this, I would take you to a hospital because <laughs> something's wrong with you. You like gargoyles. You like eating a, like a boil. It was not good. I don't know why I want to bite a skin tag. Because well, it, it's, it's like. But it's not. It, when we say large, we need to explain how big it was. I'd say it's the same size as a Susan's vagina, actually. That's oh an accurate. God. That no, thing? It, it was really? that big. That, that Thing. Also, I just lifted open Susan's pussy. She's like, "Yeah, show everybody." Yeah, oh, she loves there you it. Go. You like She's it, so don't sick. You, such you a sick fucks. Describe to her YouTube, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you can see what we're what we're talking about. Uh, um, Susan's gaping hole. Yeah, you don't. Have you ever had a skin tag before? Like a small one? No, no. Oh. You um, seem like somebody who wouldn't have a skin tag. <laughs> yeah, you, you, seem seem, yeah, you seem like you have no like blemishes or boils or <laughs> well, bunions. A lot of bees right I, now. I have acne, so I have to deal with that all the time. But <sighs> did you take um, Accutane when you grew up? No, my par- my parents wouldn't let me because they said it would deform your baby later on. <laughs> and I don't even want kids. So, <laughs> so you're like, so what the hell? It's also like, who cares? It's about what I look like. Yeah, I want to be hot. I'll yeah. put my baby on Accutane. <laughs> I'm famous. I'll be with a deformed baby, oh too. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> the content. Literally super hot babe with this, like, just messed up baby and Ooh. People, they'd be like she's such a hero for loving it yeah you know? yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you would be a household name right now you want to see what behind closed doors you're just doing full Accutane on the baby you're like we gotta fix this do you <laughs> follow <laughs> Madison and Dirt Dirt on that's that what, that's what name? his name no I'm just I made up a oh, oh yeah, dirt, dirt. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry I was like, the joke what? didn't land and I'm cancelled um yeah, I mean my god wait are you gonna cover the tattoo yeah okay 
Yes, because it it's not like his name, at least. No, no, yeah, and it's I, I've been it's there. I've been covering it uh, a lot with my pants these days. And what a lot if of you high just socks. instead of covering it, you just made an ankle ring of various Mexican <laughs> foods around? <laughs> I, mean, I, <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say a circle Nachos with a line through it. Yeah. <laughs> and and just that little chihuahua. Yeah, someone last night said put Del Taco over it. I'm like, that's pretty funny. Yo quiero my ex boyfriend to die in a fire. <laughs> no, I'm putting um, something that's completely different. I never want to look at it again for the remainder of my life. I mean. It, yeah, it's really potent. And again, as I've mentioned, I already did cover up another magic tattoo ahead with a man. I need to stop doing these things. Stop getting tattoos <laughs> with men. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. Stop. Well, yeah, see, we're done. Susan told you so. Susan's like, you, you got my ta- tattoo. Oh, you uh, do have any yeah. tattoos? They're like, all yeah. over your arm. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. Do you regret any of them? No, well, I got them all over the pandemic. So oh, I haven't really? had them that long. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, but I'm just continuously getting covered. Because I did forever. Because I think my mom was always like, you can't model if you have tattoos. And I was always like, well, I'm going to be a model one day. I don't know why. I was like, I, <laughs> I'm like, I can't I'm get tattoos. I'm going to model. <laughs> I was like, I'm 25. Why do I? I'm not. I'm like too old to be, be a like, model. I miss yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they like kids. Yeah, they like, I think 21 you're like too old yeah. to be a model. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, you're out. <laughs> Literally, when you realize that like so many of those like girls are just really tall 15 year olds mm-hmm. on heroin or whatever the fuck, you're like, Jesus Christ. Ooh. So I was like, well, I don't know why I'm like getting ready for a job I don't have. So I just got them and then I just keep, I have another one on the 18th. I love get. them. Are they the same oh person? Um, the Mostly this guy Gibbs in Orlando. So he just does a lot of the fine line, but I'm going yeah. to a new lady who's like, okay. I want to go to a female tattoo artist. Yes. It's hard to find. It is nice. Yeah. There's a really good one in Toronto. Nice. But, There's a lot of yeah. great artists in Toronto. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. That's where Lenny. you're from, right? Yes. Nice. Listen, um, My dad's in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah, Chatham. It's like a shit part. I yeah. know where Chatham is. Yeah. I didn't know your dad was. Do you have a Canadian passport? Are you part Canadian? I could do dual citizens. He just became a citizen like two years ago. What the heck? Yeah. Did you go back there growing up? No, I kind of like I went like we would go like for like months at a time and stuff. Oh but, yeah. shit, Chatham, Ontario! Shout out to nobody who's listening to this podcast from there. <laughs> yeah, they wow. don't have uh, yeah. technology. That's so. like uh, all I know is there's a, there, I think there's a Highland Games there and there's a big water tower. There's a lot of corn there. A lot they, of corn. Yeah. Oh, it's like a lot the of corn. Iowa oh, it's out there. Of, yeah, the Nebraska of. Ontario. Yeah, we're out there. It's not a uh, Nebraska. Yeah, you can't call that Toronto. Just so you know, you'd really <laughs> offend Torontonians by calling. It's like calling Long Beach, LA, but yeah. it's Long Beach. Yeah, it's the it's like the people who are like, I live in Chicago, and you're like, you're from Gary, Indiana. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, like, what are you? you're not even close. <laughs> um, so you just wrote on all the roasts that came out. Winnie Cummings produced her yeah. roast and the Burke Reischer roast for OnlyFans, yeah. and you did a special. Yes. yes, I did a special with them, which was fun. They yeah. they're amazing. They're like really they they did. Uh, it's like five cameras. It was like really well shot. Oh, and then good. they give you all the footage too. And they like, they like give you the raw and everything. Really? Yeah. So you oh. can just clip it up however you want. Yeah. And like, oh, oh that's great. So in this day and age. And they let you put anywhere else too. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. they just really want good. you to like, like get the name out. Cause I think they're like, they're letting people know they're expanding to comedy and it's still just been a little bit of a, I think people are used to OnlyFans for sex work. So it's yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, like, yeah. so this is comedy to promote your OnlyFans <laughs> where you'll be naked, right? And you're like, no. No. I get the most respectful messages. They're like, hey, I know you're a comedian, but I was just curious if you would sell me a photo of your butthole. Like, it's just like so nice. And uh, I'm like, no, like, I totally understand. Love your comedy. Yeah. You have the good <laughs> Pardon me, madam. I hate to even ask, but That's I would so be funny. remiss. <laughs> I would be remiss. Uh, could I perhaps have one photograph of your anus? <laughs> How yeah. much do you think one anus photo would go for? Did they give you a price? No, I mean, I think you have, there's a ceiling on it now for how much you can charge things for. I don't think it's, I don't know how much you can go up. You used to on be OnlyFans? Yeah. Or just in general? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, you got to keep it under uh, 600 if they've been mowing you because the government. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. catch yeah. on. <laughs> That's, they like, send me three payments of five ninety nine ninety nine, <laughs> and I 99, will 99. send a shadow of my asshole. I've only had one guy ask me if I had OnlyFans. Now I'm offended that nobody else has. No one's ever asked me. It's I get a little offended the way when like as much as I don't want monsters in my DMs, the amount of stories you have, I go like, oh, what am I, chop liver? <laughs> well, when you see the, actually the guys you do must be look like chop liver. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's <laughs> literally just a piece of steak. Uh, the, the, I posted like a new photo for my big Toronto show coming up December 14th. Um, I posted a photo of me just like in like a little skirt, whatever. Very the cute. men that commented on Facebook openly the open comments. I love the open horniness sick 
sickness sick I sick sickies sometimes want to click on their profile see who they're married to and tag their wife in a response oh none of these none of these people have wives yeah you're no, right. no 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 it's, just, it's like wet angles just their eyes like weird <laughs> something's wrong no they're very sick they're very very sick people yeah nothing nothing and i click through them like maybe there's one one cute one in there no and we've been no, reading your no. applications for dating staff uh <laughs> Yes, we're not taking applications. We're not taking applications. Staff. We're trying. Yeah, we're trying to pitch I'm, me. I'm mm-hmm. pitching her as a, a human. We need to get you on the Bachelor. We yeah. we want to make her own Bachelor. Yes, I want to make. make I own. have a whole mm-hmm. plan. Oh, I would love that. We'll mm-hmm. see. Yeah, <laughs> um, we'll see. Maybe OnlyFans pick it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would actually be really actually good. That'd yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah that they actually <laughs> like, yeah they actually and then might. there's like no holds barred on the like because ba- you know like the Bachelor will do like the dumbest activities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. No. I want to watch. I want to make the people competing for your love like suck off a dildo. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Real life things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's really real life do. things. Yeah, yeah. And a helicopter like... ride in the middle of fucking Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, we're going gonna to Trader do an Joe's. Yeah, how long you tie <laughs> each other in the face? <laughs> yeah. Grocery shop and don't get anything I don't like. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> Wait, you know Zach Towers, right? Yeah, we were on a dating show together. <laughs> oh yeah, the E one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. not the E one. Uh, what is it? The uh, College humor one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a parody of The Bachelor, so I didn't know like how real it was. I thought it was just like we're making fun of The Bachelor, and then I realized, oh no, they're like doing this like an actual dating show. Oh my! And oh. It was like a pansexual dating show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was so random, and like we were both on it, we were both fighting for the same guy. <laughs> 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 I got eliminated immediately. Um, no, but I got the the sooner you get eliminated, the better prize you get. So oh, I got like a really, really cool camera setup. And oh, that's okay. Great. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't like this guy. Yeah, um, <laughs> this fucking weirdo, this fucking pig <laughs> with no discernible taste at all. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> but the person he picked it so fucked up. Uh, so he picked this person, and then they died on the way home <laughs> in a car accident. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's a comedy dating show. How so, do you spin that? <laughs> so it was like they were like trying to figure out like do we put rest in peace at the end because it feels like a joke but it really oh did happen oh my god oh my god oh that's bad and it was so horny it was like such a horny dating show because i laughed in the beginning i was just like we he would- died jerking off at the wheel <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> oh my god i mean all right wow. whoever you are but wow. that is fucking hilarious <laughs> that's wild so I- how did they end it then Oh, they just like, they didn't mention it, but then they posted on their thing that they like paid help for funeral costs and stuff. It's just later, they were like. Yeah, and they, they screened it at the funeral? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, like, they opened the casket and they used that white background as the thing to show the, the screen. <laughs> They're like, here's your son licking whipped cream off this yeah, guy's nipples. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah and this, Rest in peace. The first runner up is like, that's what you get. <laughs> Should have picked me. Yeah. Wow. Oh, they all come crawling back. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that the last time you ever came close to dating a man? Well, that was like, I don't even, I was just on it for the show. I mean, I was <laughs> yeah, not yeah, interested. Yeah. I did, I, I did uh, hook up with a guy who it was like, we kind of talked. We were like a weird situation ship thing. And I realized I do, I don't know why I like Asian guys, but like oh. all women, but just very specifically Korean guys are okay. still the guys I'm attracted to. Okay. Oh, is it because they're cool? I think so. Yeah. I feel like, like they're more soft. slender, maybe soft and like clean. They don't have a lot. I hate body hair. They don't have a lot of body hair. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, makes that sense. Hairless, <laughs> hairless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No I body hair. I, but I was always worried that that comes off like fetishizy if I said that. But I everyone no. thinks everything's a fetish, and it's like, yeah. sorry, if you're not, if you're not bisexual, pansexual, <laughs> gender queer, then poly- like, <laughs> then you, oh, you're fetishizing <laughs> because you're a heterosexual or a homosexual. Like that's you're like I just find this attractive. The idea yeah. that I have to want to fuck everything is absurd. Like, <laughs> that if if you only like this type, yeah. What do you want me to do? It's biology. I don't know. It's my my stupid brain being like. I don't even like to talk about being bisexual because really if you were to ask me about the women I'm into, it's like a very misogynistic. I'm like, oh, look at the tits on her. Yeah. <laughs> I want like a 90s porn star, just Pam Anderson. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh God. It's okay, disgusting. that, yeah. yeah. Well, I gotta say this. So <laughs> Madison and I, we matched on Bumble a long time ago. <laughs> and now I gotta let you know, you'd be very disappointed. I am littered in hair. You'd be like, <laughs> Bring me a Korean man. I can't be around, I can't be around this fucking Furby. No, I am. Yeah, yeah, a lot of hair. I remember I, I mentioned your tune a bit, and then you just didn't respond. <laughs> You're like, I'm not talking about my stand up with you on yeah. Bumble. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't do this. Oh my god. This yeah, is, yeah. Okay, we matched you a long time ago. Yeah. That's, okay, we're taking a quick break, and we're. I want to hear about this. Fuck you guys. All right, we're back. Okay, you guys matched on Bumble. Yeah, when was this? Like, like twenty years ago. Yeah. 
Yeah, like 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 like, like, like two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. <laughs> Like, like, I years ago was it right after the pandemic <laughs> yeah because i remember we did this horrible show together after like right after um i didn't know what to say to you because you don't remember i don't think, I don't think but it, it was, was after the uh it was like some like uh i think it was like a like a persian restaurant that we were at like a kebab in place. beverly hills yeah it was like oh. a real bad show oh, that was like just in like God. a dining room I remember, oh, I remember the, I remember the a venue like that. Yeah, and then we were on it together. I didn't know what to say to you because I was like, "You didn't respond." I didn't to respond. My- That's so awkward. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, you are the man and that you hate. I am because I did this. I matched with a guy who used to work at the Improv, and he was the sound guy. Yeah. And I went back to to get the sign and get my five dollars in the lab. And I went back, and he was like, um, "He's like, hey, it's up, Mike. You didn't even fucking know." <laughs> he's like what i'm like you fucking match with me on bumble and you never fucking replied and he was like what and i was like now this is awkward i made it severely <laughs> awkward but i i pulled him yeah and i'm sorry no it's okay. sorry, I, never replied. <laughs> I think what happens is i panic bitch. and i go on for women and then when i match with one i'm like ah, and like you're so hot i was like there's no way oh, and, then I get exactly. all like, and then i get all like ah and then i, I can't do anything <laughs> i go like i'm gonna let her down Any yeah woman, I, I got like freaked out every time i put like women on a dating profile and i match with one like if they say anything i'm like I'm going to disappoint them. <laughs> Women are also really bad at dating apps too. Like I always match with girls and I try to talk to them and it's like the conversation always falls off because they're not very like active on it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Or it's just like, I feel like dating apps for me is just like telling someone else she's pretty and then she says I'm pretty and then we never talk again. Yeah. <laughs> You're dating someone now? <laughs> no. No. Oh, you're just saying, oh, yeah. Okay. Single. Oh, she's, okay. Excuse she's me. She's out here. I haven't been dating at all. I need to date. I haven't had well, sex in so long. It's the sex. Number it's, one it's, yeah, yeah, on yeah. Love to Laugh. <laughs> Rejected from a dating show where a man died. <laughs> And ignored on Bumble. Yeah, uh, we already have our drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. We have the drama. That's, um, I yeah, mean, I, I went back on the apps, but I, they're so bad. They're so bad, and I don't want to be part of them. Yeah, it's it's dating. I, we're too busy. I know, and I don't have time to like go out because I I've done a few dates on the apps, and it was horrible. And I feel like I wasted my time. Yes. I could have like done something yes. productive. with yes, it. Yes, yes. Like, you yeah. took a night from me. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. And I'm and I'm gonna remember your trauma forever because I like have this really good memory. And every time I see them, I'm like, oh, their dad died, and they had a gambling addiction. Why? Is that, <laughs> why are people going on first dates doing this? I don't know. <laughs> what are you trauma dumping? Save that for save it. A few dates in it. No, least. save it. I had a guy. I went on a really quick little date in Kansas City, and I've told you this. I don't know why you're going on dates well, on the road anyway? It was like. Well, was, I was drunk and I was on fucking Tinder and then this is the problem. We were problem. on a date. It was midnight Friday <laughs> no, after the show. Well, that's exactly it. I was out with my buddy downtown. No, I'm, I'm out with Alex Pavone and I matched this guy and I'm like, oh, he's cute. And then Alex like, well, I want to make sure he's okay. So he like comes with me to the bar to make sure the guy's not a psychopath. And as he like walks into the bar, we like, we, like snuck around the corner and watched him walk in and Alex leans over. He goes, looks like the comic book guy from The Simpsons. Anyway, see you later. And I was like, what? What? Look at that image in my head. It's a horrendous image. So the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, it's the comic book store guy from the fucking <laughs> Simpsons. Actually, Steph, I, uh, that's so Well, then he immediately funny. started telling me this like, horrible stuff with his ex-wife and his parents. And all stuff. I was like, ah, <laughs> oh no. People have no yeah. etiquette. Yeah, oh, you was... act normal for the first date. Wait. But he was nice. He's a nice boy and he drove back to the hotel and I think he thought he was going to get something. He's like, all right. I was like, bye. <laughs> Slamming the door. <laughs> bye, comic book store guy. <laughs> Go get the new X-Men. And I just closed the door. I was like, I can't do this. Oh, yeah. God. It drains me, and I want to meet someone. It just sucks. It's like, yeah, I don't know. The dr- it is uh, that's also my thing right now. The idea of like getting to know a stranger mm-hmm. and sitting there and listening to them talk. I'm like, I, I can't. I don't care. I really have no interest. I've done it so many times yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, I'd I've rather met enough people. <laughs> I'm like, or I could go live on TikTok, which I hate doing, and get a bunch of followers, and that's a way better idea. So I'm like, what do I? <laughs> That'll which help is my so career. stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, which I'm sure you did too. We're like, I could have made a video. I could edit something. It's like, yeah. Then I can check my DMs, and that's way easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Spend time with me. Do you get yeah. DM'd a lot? Do you get any cre- a lot of creepy DMs? <laughs> oh, I get like, I definitely get creepy ones, but I think over the pandemic, it was funny. This one guy was asking to buy nudes for me. And he was like, I'll pay you money. He, and, and I, so I sent him a picture. It's for the tattoo. I sent him a picture of my elbow to look like a butt. And then yeah. I got $500 Venmo to me. <laughs> and then he asked for it again. And I sent a different photo of my elbow. And I made $1,000. Oh, this guy's oh so stupid. And I need to know. You're his making Instagram. a grand off elbow butts. This guy's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. God. They're not even convincing. Like I've showed them to people and they're like, I don't even know what part of your body is. <laughs> <laughs> like, you look the back of your knee. What is this? Oh my God. Oh, that's. I mean, that's brilliant. That is good. You just need to do a bunch of different like angles, like different lighting. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I, Buy my set. Make an OnlyFans and it's just elbow butts. Yeah. I matched with a guy on fucking... 
Uh, I matched the guy. Season so gross. I matched the guy on. I think it was Tinder, and I didn't read his. Do you read full bios when you're swiping with people? No. Sometimes I'm just like, oh my yeah. god. Uh, see, I make the mistake of reading the bios too much, and I I'll match with people based on their bio and then see their photo and go, ah. <laughs> no, but that, I think that's better because this yeah. guy I didn't read the whole thing and he was cute and he was, we started talking. And he's like, oh, so you're okay with my bio? And I was like, what? And I go down. And he's like big in the feet and I was like okay so how in the feet we talk and he goes I just you know when they're there I like them he's like I kind of get off on them I'm like okay so I'm like so what are you doing today he's like you know just thinking about those feet and I was like oh, oh. so you're, we're still on the feet thing I'm like okay <laughs> so then we're like talking about something else he's like so how big are those feet he's like they look big in that photo and I'm like now you want to the size of my feet he goes what are you he's like seven he into big feet he goes seven I go no he's like bigger I'm like yes he goes what are you talking eight and a half I go it's just about feet now it's just feet <laughs> And I'm like nine and a half, and he goes, "Oh, those are good size." And I, I, I imagine they I'm like, swell up on the airplane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on those flights. So you like clown shoes, or yeah. I'm like, this oh, yeah. is we're Squeeze done now. Squeeze them into those compression socks before you hit the. Because he says something like he likes, uh, like sucking my feet, or he likes, yeah, sucking my feet was I suck him off, and I was like, how? Well, I'm like <laughs> the mechanics. Yeah, I'm up, yeah, yeah, I'm like I'm upside down. I'm like I'm doing a handstand. This You're is You're like sixty nining, but like have your like your <laughs> feet I, on his shoulders. Yeah, I got big feet i've also got a big body it's like i have big feet what a little tiny you... body just fold around like this yeah what is he i can't even too much too much foot off the hop yeah that's i mean it's okay Literally. to have like a little thing but to be right away obsessed with obsessed. it too that it's just like all you think about is that yeah kink like i'm down to try something if i'm into somebody but like i was even like okay lay off Lay off the feet for a second here, man. Like he could. I was like, that's also too much. Yeah, I don't. You, I think a king should come up. No, unless it's like, well, clearly he needs feet, so he needs to bring it up right away. Yeah, I guess if it's like, I will not come unless your foot is in my mouth. Then like, well, let's square that yeah. away. From my the friend back. said she was okay. Anessa, who's on the podcast, yeah, said she was having sex with a guy one night, and she's like, she like looked at, she looked at him, and he, she's like, he was really distracted. <laughs> Her foot was in the air, and he was just staring at her feet, having sex with her. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Can you imagine looking at a guy just? Fuck yeah, fuck it. Well, you're like down. That's so psychotic. You're like, she's like, he didn't look at me once. So yeah, hello. She starts making funny faces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's got. She those, starts like, reading the newspaper. Yeah, she's got. She has those glasses on with a mustache and the fake nose, and he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> "That's oh my yeah. god, it's a lot." I was um talking to Nicole Amy about this about how like I didn't know if my like I, I would if, I would be worried if like I found out I don't have good feet. Oh, you know? okay. But yeah. apparently every portion of the foot is a fetish. So there's no such thing as good feet and bad feet. It just depends on like what they're into. Yeah. yeah some guys really oh. like the bottom of the feet. They like the like, especially like the dirty bottoms of the feet. Yeah. Dirty. Bottoms. Some guys are really into the arches they like and they like little crinkly. feet. But yeah. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. Crinkly. Smooth. It's like a whole. I yeah. feel like you have nice feet though. You, you seem like somebody gets a lot of manicures. Yeah. Pedicures. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like you seem well groomed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You seem very well groomed. Yeah, if yeah. someone takes an interest in me and they say they have a feet thing, I'm, I'm, I have to be like, well, give me a week. Holy have you gone out with any a lot of women, any women who've had like ungroomed? Like, I feel like a lot more men on dates are going to smell than women you go out with. Or have you had like? I feel like you just have had an oddly odd amount of really smelly guys. I too. really, I have a sniffing problem. Here's the problem. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've ever been on a date with a girl who's like ungroomed. I feel like women, if anything, like I, they tend to. Yeah, we tend to bathe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go out of our way to be like God help me if i stink that's like a nightmare someone said this on i do this live radio show on mondays that no one listens to five people i have anyways this girl amp get the app yeah this girl calls me last week and tells me that she this is how she found out about hemorrhoids she was 69 with a man oh no and was like oh my god like like as she was doing it, it was like concerned she's like something's wrong with this man like this is something out it's <laughs> In her face. Afterwards, she's like, hey, um, awkward trying to make no, say she, I, just, I don't want to bring this up, but you have something wrong. And he goes, oh, yeah, my hemorrhoids. Can you imagine ever in your life <laughs> 69 ing and not thinking to fucking go, by the way, got a bunch of roids hanging out of my asshole? Oh. Like, out. I have a female friend who recently said that she's 69 with a guy and asked, do you think he saw my hemorrhoids? And I was like, Oh my God, are you kidding? Are people crazy? And I'm like, yeah, no, he, your asshole is in his eyes. His eye, uh, he blinked on your hemorrhoids. And she thought I was just being mean. And I was like, are you out of your mind? No, that's H crazy. How long do those last? They could last for like years. Like, I think some, some unless, Susan, busy now, and some unless you get them like, like snipped off. Or like, oh my god, that sounds horrible, but I would do really that. Bad. Yeah. Oh, immediately, oh, yeah. immediately. Just no, get I, a fucking burst it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't if know. You, if I had an Audi, it'd be gone. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my hemorrhoids. How fucking dare you? How the, the gall. The audacity. <laughs> the gall. Oh. I, it's, it's alarming me. Yeah. I mean. And someone else told me, who the fuck else told me this? They were. Uh, oh, who was it? Was, um, was it this podcast? Who told me about? Someone had a tampon stuck in them for so long that their friend was like, they were literally like sitting with a friend, a girlfriend. They're like, hey, sorry, I can, I can smell your. Tampon. I can smell your vagina. And she's like, oh, yeah, I, I, there might be a tampon. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Get it out. Are you, if your friend is smelling it. From across geez. the room. Yes. Please always, if that ever happens, be like, if you I, stink. I would not be your friend if I ever smell your vagina from here. <laughs> can I tell I'm you? I'm sorry. That's, I, if I'm like, if we go like, I was camping or something, and I'm like, ooh, it's sour. I, right away, I'm like, we got to deal with this. You think yeah. you would know the vagina smell? Oh, yeah. It's I, a it's a isn't it a specific scent i think it is yeah. i have like no sense of smell you i'm a very light really? one yeah well then maybe we do need a cup again now we know we're gonna, we're gonna go back a bubble <laughs> Quote my new well, well, well. Uh, yeah mine i is... don't smell but i'm like i have a hyper sense of smell so i'm always smelling so you don't smell anything no ever so like if you nothing. fart you don't smell it no <laughs> no smell at all like a little bit but like barely anything yeah something has yeah. to smell huh. really bad for me when yeah. i can smell something i know huh. it must be terrible because i have a very low sense of smell and i still get candles i don't know why i can't smell. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so <laughs> funny <laughs> your whole house is candles no scent well, yeah. how long has this happened for my whole life really yeah wow. i think it might have got worse because i have like weird sinus issues from being out here because it's like disgusting yeah We're inhaling oh, smoke yeah. All the time. smog and all yeah. that fucking bullshit huh yeah it's a gift and a curse yeah, well, I mean, yeah. in case it goes like to a house fire. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. I smell. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's like. I'm, I'm like, I'm glad I can't smell other people, but like, do I walk around stinking and nobody tells me? Yeah, does my apartment smell? I have dogs in it. Like, who knows? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. No, well, but if you have candles. Yeah, and you're doing all the things. Yeah, I've yeah. never smelled you. Okay, because like you always hear people bitching about oh so and so like they got bad breath. It's like yeah, but nobody ever tells so and so. So how are they supposed to get better? Yeah, literally. if no one says hey your breath is bad. Yeah, so literally. that's just my fear is that. But then. Once my boyfriend did tell me my breath was bad just one day offhandedly and it ruined me for weeks. So it's like, no, I want to know. How's my breath, Nathan? I had a boyfriend tell me I wear too much perfume. Oh, fuck well, you. Well, you yeah. can smell it. I know. <laughs> He's like, I wasn't I, sure if it was working. He could smell me though, but like before, like I was at the door before I knocked. He smelled me before I knocked. So he knew I was I kind of like that. Oh, it's that. like okay, haunting that's people. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. I know. You're like Pepe Le Pew. The stink marks are behind you as you walk up somewhere. I want people to know I'm coming. I want them to be like yeah. talking about that fucking... Oh my God, she's here. <laughs> she said she's here. Speaking of bad breath, uh, the ex, we were lying in bed one night and I was like... <sighs> Oh, did you? I'm like your breath smells. This is right for bad. I'm like, did you, did you brush your teeth? He's like, what do you mean you brush your teeth? I'm like, did you brush your teeth? You. Yeah. He's like, no. I'm like, you don't brush your teeth for bed. He's like, I didn't eat since I brushed them earlier. I hate men. We need. To- <laughs> I, 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 I was. This is me. I was like, oh, I'm like, they were in the elements. <laughs> Did I mention this on the Slavs, the, the Houston one? I might have. I, I'm still know, on it. I maybe, can't remember but if I, I mean, did. it's just like it's just upsetting me because I'm like I'm constantly washing my mouth. Yeah, and you yeah. Have, you're in that mouth. I'm in the mouth. Yeah, and I, mouth. I let you put that mouth near my holes. I'm like, I'm not, but that mouth is way near my holes. So I don't want, I want stink black on my pussy. <laughs> His I tooth just falls the, out in your clit. Oh, <laughs> Slodge The there. amount of, the amount of plaque I see on men's teeth. Dude, the, this part, when they have that buildup of like. Oh yeah, the underneath the build in oh, here. Yeah. yeah. What is that? How it's do like you not years like, look of, at that? Also, here's Ooh. the thing I just learned. For, in case you're like, have given up and you're like who cares teeth whatever uh that also affects your brain health like that leaks into and like makes your cognitive skills decline so like if you're not going to do it because it's disgusting to look at do it for your brain that's why the pilot's teeth were so nice he's just he has open airplane he's just in one of those little (laughs) just black flying off behind him now i'm like i really think too you need to see a person's teeth in the daylight to really get those things get a good glimpse on them well and how somebody cares for their teeth is how they yeah. take care of themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean you can tell like if a person has chronic depression by looking at their teeth because mm-hmm. you stop brushing oh the, the non-floss i i floss all the time and we always talk with this because i'm so disgusted she's by obsessed it. with it i don't floss enough but oh, i floss I a slob story i forgot yes so maybe we go to the same gym together yeah. saw a guy working out in fucking jeans and a t-shirt and a soiled hoodie. That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> you can't wear jeans at the gym. Like, was he, he wasn't working even... out? Yes, Actually. and he was disgusting. He was so gross. Jeans? Stunk. Because there's a guy at my LA Fitness that would go in jeans, but he just went to watch the women and they wouldn't oh. kick him out. <laughs> I was like, 
like, he's not working out. And they're like, it's well, he's a member. He paid. Did he, yeah, he paid? Okay, okay. He oh, he's a monthly fee for a peep show? Yeah. He pays $15 a month. All right. Yeah, yeah let's relax. Yeah, yeah. It, that's his OnlyFans. He's getting, yeah. I'm not going to lie, he's getting some good looks in there. He, he could at least cheer me on. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah. can I get it? Like, you can do one more. Uh, fuck, it's almost 4.30. Uh, well, we got we to gotta wrap. Oh, we gotta wrap I know you got to hard out. Um, where can people well, find yeah, you? Where can, where can they watch your special? Tell everybody the... Oh, um, okay. So the special is on OnlyFans TV. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram, Madison Sinclair, and TikTok at Madison Comedy. And there we go. Yeah. And check out her bummer shop. I didn't get to say it, but I'm fucking oh. obsessed with your bummer shorts. I need to make... I'll make you guys oh, shorts yes. if you want any. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, I, yes. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm going to order some because I want to get... Because I've been walking around I'm trying to get a butt. I make them all by hand, too, so I can put whatever you want on them. Oh. Yeah. We, we got to get slobs in our butt, though. Yeah. Yeah. We got slobs in our ass. Come on. Yeah. Pot. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. That's fucking... Or I'm just going to get suck my asshole. I'm single now. It's too long. That's way too long. <laughs> no, some people You'd get like fucking huge paragraphs. Oh, really? Yeah. The Declaration of Independence. That's, that's honestly more hilarious. It's something super long. So people yeah. have to really look at your I'm gonna ass. Get, I want to get like a prayer. My ass. Like a really long Bible verse. People have gotten yeah. like the really horrific Bible verses about like God being kind of evil. Like they put that on there or they have the one about um, the Jersey Shore note about him like grabbing the waitress's ass oh no, shit. God. Yeah. That's, i'll get i yeah. matched with madison sinclair on my ass <laughs> <laughs> i'll get a, a pl- uh, apply for love to love <laughs> i'll get fl- yeah, floss your fucking teeth um go follow everything go follow us everything slob's pod at youtube follow us yeah go subscribe to our youtube yes. so you can see everything see our cool trailer uh follow us come see our live shows and we'll see you out there bye bye, bye. follow the podcast at slob's pod Follow me at Steph Tolev. Follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy.